Hi Libra, Sloan Rhodes here with your Life, Purpose, Career and Money reading for April 2020 or whenever you happen to be watching or listening to this recording. Just a reminder Libra that all of my YouTube videos are available in audio format so you can listen to them as well as watch them here on YouTube and there are, there are links below Libra. I keep hitting my knee on this table. Um, okay, so today I'm drawing one card from the Money and the Law of Attraction by Esther and Jerry Hicks, one card from the Life Purpose Deck by Doreen Virtue, three cards from the Archangel Power Tarot, one card from the Money Tarot by Eugene Vanitsky as you take a peek at your money, Libra, and then one card from the Tarot of the New Vision, looking at what's going on behind the scenes. Let's just dive into it, Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Beautiful air sign. What's going on for Libra? And the spiritual guidance videos for the recordings for the week are up, so if you haven't seen those yet or listened to those, those are up and available. Okay, I, in my appreciation, I allow myself to receive wonderful things and I can make a career of living happily ever after. Number 44, and this is number 7. Boy, these are almost identical uh, in terms of the coloring. In my appreciation, I allow myself to receive wonderful things. That's the primary focus, and under the deck, I can make a career of living happily ever after. Now I will say for some of you, it may be that you have retired <laughs> recently or decided to retire recently with that card. Um, it may be just feel like you have retired <laughs> um, because you're at home um, and you may be reassessing and rethinking everything. I hope you are. You know, it's a great opportunity for all of us to regroup, reassess, reflect. And here we have, in my appreciation, I allow myself to receive wonderful things. Through your appreciation, through your awareness of the beauty that is available to you now, or the curiosity, or the fascination, or the mystery of life, through that appreciation, you are in a receptive mode. You are receiving um, what's available to you now, as opposed to trying to go out and get it. So it's a very different kind of energy. It's more of the divine feminine energy. Sorry, there's a hair here that is <laughs> sticking straight out. Um, it's more of the divine feminine energy of receptivity here, as opposed to the divine masculine energy, which is more about going out and getting things, you know, with an agenda. Both beautiful energies, but here is in your appreciation, you allow yourself to receive what is available now. When you are open, when you are curious, you are in fascination, where you, when you are in a place of appreciation, those are all the same vibratory field uh, with love, openness. When you are in a place of fascination, curiosity, appreciation, you are open and available to love, to expansion, to the all that is, without even trying to go out and get it. It's available now, right? I can make a career of living happily ever after. What's that basically? Basically, what that's saying to you, Libra, is that you can, um, by appreciating, by allowing yourself to appreciate what is available to you now, by being happy in the moment, you can make a career out of that. Because when you are in a place of happiness and contentment, everything seems to open up in ways that you couldn't even have imagined if you're just in the mode, the continual mode of, I'm going to go out and get it. I'm missing, something's missing, I better fill the seeming void with this and this and this and this. More money, more accolades, more benefits, right? All, all available to you, all, neither right nor wrong, but here, with your appreciation of what you do have, what's available to you now, not just in your career, but what's in your present environment, even if not everything's your preference, there's, you can still have an appreciation for what is occurring. There's big shifts occurring. How interesting. <laughs> I never would have um, imagined this particular scenario upon the planet Earth. I appreciate the slowing down. It's given me an opportunity to reflect, right? 
something to play with here, Libra. A very spiritual feel for you with both of those cards, with that beautiful lavender energy. All right, let's get the life purpose card for you, Libra. We just got a sudden dizzy kind of uplift there. April Sun, Moon, and Rising. What's going on for Libra in this time frame? Okay. Steady and let go. Under the deck. Walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. Just let it be. You don't have to fix it. There's no more going in and through your will and determination make, trying to make it right or convince someone. Just let it go. If it's meant to be, it will, it will all work out. You've done what you can do, right? Walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. Don't keep engaging. Don't keep fighting the fight. Then we have study, right? It's a primary card for you here, Libra. Reading, research, and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. You have that beautiful owl, right? The lunar energy, the nighttime energy, the wise owl, right? Why is the why do we associate owls with wisdom? Because of the lunar energy they come out at night, right? They can they can see and and live and hunt in the darkness. There's deep wisdom. There's a deep well of wisdom, the unknown, right? All of that. Um, so it's not about knowing what's, what's here with your beautiful analytical thinking mind, Libra. It's about dropping into the divine feminine energy that is very present here in this reading for you. The deep knowledge, the deep wisdom that you hold within you, you know, how you rule by Venus. Aphrodite, right? Cause of love, the heart. Deep feminine wisdom, even though we're showing up with a paternal figure here. He's guided by the deep feminine wisdom. He's in balance with that. He acknowledges it. He listens to it. He's guided by it. Could be that there is actually a grandfather type figure who's very present in your life or on your mind during this particular time frame influencing you. Could be on the spirit side. Could be actually um, on the physical plane. Um, but beyond that, it's about taking this opportunity to gather your thoughts to do a little research, to continue your education in whatever that means for you. You're not really going to just sit around and do nothing every single day. <laughs> you certainly can allow yourself to do that if you're at home. But there's a part of you that wants to know more. Listen to the little whisper of intuition, your inner guidance. If whatever you are searching on the internet, whatever you are exploring, whatever books are next to your nightstand, um, they're there for a reason. You might just think that you're Googling whatever or internet searching for, for something just because you, you're curious about it. But then you can say, all right, I'm curious about it. Why am I curious about it? Well, I, I want to know more. Well, you don't need to know all the answers right now but you're being guided to look for a reason. You're being guided to research for a reason. No matter what it is, you never know how connections are made. Follow the intuitive nudges for reading, research, educating yourself. It will give you guidance and clarity. For me, and it says confidence, but for me, the clarity is really important for you. I think you're already quite confident <laughs> in many ways says it will help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. And we can always, you know, um, feel more confident about things, certainly. But the confidence comes from the clarity, in my, from my perspective. But getting clear on what it is you're wanting. Let go of something that's no longer working. Walk away from it. Appreciate what you have now. I mean, and I mean now, <laughs> right now. Not like, you know, last week now. Not like tomorrow now, but now. Let's get some additional cards. Take a sip of tea, hang on. Libra. Okay. So 
it may be that you are studying quite a bit as well during this time frame. Let's just be very practical about it. <laughs> maybe you're hitting the books, maybe you're studying for a big exam. But the best way to have a career is to be happy. To be happy in whatever you're doing. If you are happy with self, if you are excited about um, who you are and what you have to offer in the world, that changes everything about the work you do in the world. But if you're just studying and you're miserable, it's going to be very hard <laughs> to help others or to do good work in the world in whatever way if you're constantly struggling or feeling overwhelmed or overworked. You know this already, Libra. Reminding you of this. All right, so what's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or April 2020? Or whenever Libra's watching, listening, or coming across this recording. We can see here with the let go card under the deck, like the unicorn or the pegasus is kind of in a place of submission, you know, just, just um, submitting to what is, right? No longer engaging, just let it go. Taking what you've got, taking the, the best of what you've learned so far and, and moving on, right? Okay, so we have new beginnings, the judgment card in reverse in the recent past, as we identify it here. We have the ace of Raphael right in the center, beautiful. Ace of Cups, and in the near future, maybe by the end of April or whenever you are connecting to this reading, we have the Ace of Gabriel, Ace of Wands in reverse, the Strength card in reverse under the deck. This can, sometimes it's going to indicate not feeling well, feeling depleted, you know, a lack of strength um, under the deck. I'm not going to spend a lot of time with that. It could, it can kind of go with this let go. Like there's something that's been difficult, just move, move on. You know, don't don't keep. It. In getting all involved with the strength of it. Just let it go. Um, we do have the, the judgment card, right? The new beginnings card in the reverse. It may be that there's something either with a family business or just family that didn't come to... Could have been a fight even with a judgment card in reverse. Um, could be maybe that's what you're letting go of, like just let it go. But also it didn't... You thought... Let me put it this way. You thought it would be the final thing. You, you guys would, would face it or you would face it. This indicates more people involved. Could be family. Um, you would face it together, overcome it, and move on. But you, somehow it didn't quite. It could have been a fight or just a lack of, of an ending there, a lack of moving on beyond it in the way that you had hoped. So that's okay. It just That's just the way it was. Move on. It could have been, again, around work. could have been around family work or just your career in general or even a sense of purpose you thought now I know what I'm going to do and I'm finally going to take that exam pass it and move on and maybe you just weren't able to pass the exam maybe that's why you're studying now this kind of thing maybe there's an opportunity to retake it at a later date um, but in the center we have the ace of Raphael the heart centered energy could be a new beginning a resurgence of feeling for work something new a new appreciation the text on this card is a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships and deep and lasting spiritual insights. As I mentioned, there's a very spiritual feel, very otherworldly feel here to your reading. So you may be connecting with someone from the spirit side, um, but your heart is opening. Because I think because the New Beginnings card didn't happen in the way that you had hoped, um, it would. And there's been some difficulty here in the, under the deck and maybe throughout the, even throughout April, maybe um, you're still working with some of that energy. Um, but your heart is opening because of it. There's a, a new beginning here around your sense of purpose in the world and your career. Maybe you've just re, it's reignited your determination to study and be better and, and continue on or whatever. Um, but there may be some burnout by the end of April with the Ace of Gabriel. We do have two Aces, so we have this idea of beginning. But we also have 52, the number 7 here, which indicates some slowing down, right? Things not happening as fast as you would like. Maybe because, you know... You're supposed to be spending more time here, less with the doing and more with the just kind of being. But don't burn the candle at both ends. 
You know, the strength card in reverse can also indicate ill health, lack of vitality. And we have the ace of Gabriel in the reverse, turnoffs even around work. It could be that you feel a sense of like, yes, I, I'm re-inspired, <laughs> I'm ready to go, I feel it. And then you're like, eh, I'm tired, I don't want to. That back and forth energy is very normal, very natural right now. Um, wanting, wanting things to get off the ground, but they're not, right? The new beginnings, the judgment card in reverse, the, the inability to, to take the next step, the heart, the ace, the new beginning, something, a resurgence, and then the ace of Gabriel in reverse, ace of wands in reverse, you know, not quite happening. So we have aces, and so everything's just kind of new here. Um, take it easy. Go easy with yourself. Don't burn the candle on both ends. Get plenty of sleep. Drink plenty of water. Get some fresh air. All of that is very important for you right now. Let's get your money card, um, Libra, and then we'll get the one more card, and then we'll close out your reading here. Very kind of clear message to do some studying. Go within, um, but go easy, right? With the strength card in reverse and the let go card under the deck, both of those under the deck, does speak to trying too hard, right? Trying to resolve things. The New Beginnings card didn't quite happen. Um, could have been a fight again, or just people just didn't didn't live up to your expectation of, or maybe it was you, you know? You just weren't quite able to get there. So the expectations are usually what lead to the suffering. <laughs> so give yourself a break here. Don't burn the candle at both ends. You may feel differently by the end of the month. This is why when everything's changing, you have to give yourself permission to adapt, to be in flow, and not get too rigid. You know, go with your internal scale here. Allow yourself to dip both ways until you get feel a greater sense of equilibrium. It may not happen in April, but you're working towards it. Again, that, that paternal figure, patriarchal figure um, with the study card. Could be someone on the spirit side, grandfather, father, great-grandfather, this kind of thing, uncle, professor, but also some, could be someone on the earthly plane. It doesn't have to be for, for some of you that will resonate. in your own internal wisdom here. Okay, what's going on with your money? We have the Page of Cups in reverse. And we have the Three of Cups in reverse as well. Um, kind of goes with that Strength card in reverse. So in the, in the recent past, or maybe even throughout this month, there is a focus around your money of maybe overspending, being a bit frivolous with it. Um, maybe recently, or maybe... Um, spending it on friends and family, this kind of thing. Do your best to kind of rein it in here because with the Page of Cups as well, there's a, a desire to kind of prove your love, to overgive, or maybe someone's trying to give you too much money <laughs> in some way or to prove that they care about you. Um, so if you're accepting gifts and, and whatnot or things like that, um, or someone's showering you with uh, attention around around your money, <laughs> how well you're doing, you know, if it raises a red flag, you know, like, why are you being so effusive about that, you know? <laughs> Just go easy this month, Libra. The Page of Cups in reverse, the Three of Cups in reverse, it's around the emotions, right? Um, fr fr frivolity, superficiality around your money. So just watch it um, here. Make sure you're not spending it on frivolous things, too much money on friends and family, Page of Cups. Don't even, and be careful where you're oversharing as well about your money, about what you want to do with your money or how you're spending it. It's no one else's business, really. Just keep it close to the vest here um, during this particular time frame. Okay, let me get a one card looking at what's going on behind the scenes for you. Uh, Leave it, and then we're going to close out your reading. Interesting. Bring it close this month, Libra. Don't 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 try to expand out too quickly this month. 
And what I mean by that is don't try to do too much out in the world uh, before you're quite ready. There's a, a, a new kind of fragility here. Things aren't quite settled, aren't quite stable yet. You're still studying, you're still learning, still researching, still getting clarity. Let's put on behind the scenes for Okay, so we have the world. Then we have the three of swords, or sorry, five of swords under the deck. Yeah, that speaks to some kind of fight or something going on. I don't know what's been going on um, here. But with the, around your money, it may be that there has been a recent fight. <laughs> Judgment card there in reverse, too. Um, around your money, or maybe you feel like you got burned, or maybe there was just ego issues around money who's got what, how we spend stuff. Um, but we do have the world, which is really, really nice. We have a leveling up, we have a completion that you're working towards. Again, you're studying, you're wanting to complete something here. Um, and around your money, it does. there's a, a really nice energy around your money with the world. Things work out, things are gonna be okay. Um, and not just your money. I mean, this is, this is looking at everything with the new vision card, so. Um, you know, we have aces and we have the world. So we, whenever we have aces, it's very, very common to see endings, right? And the world here is what's going on behind the deck. You are working to level up, get start a whole new, a whole, be in a whole new place, a whole new way of being um, around your sense of purpose in the world, around your career. So this is why I say go easy. You're getting there. You know, this is what's going on behind the deck. This is what you're working towards. Um, this completion energy, leveling up the world, you may even be wanting to focus more on global um, ways you can help globally, not just locally. It may be very present for you. Maybe that's what you're working on. But um, definitely some difficulty either that's happened recently or is kind of going, going on throughout this month, kind of under the surface. Um, but truly what's really going on behind closed doors here, what's going on is the world. You, you are moving to completion here. You have the aces, new beginnings is even one of the ending cards in the deck. Um, so this is really positive energy for you. Just go easy, just go easy with yourself. With the seven, with the 52 here, um, it's slower moving. So don't try to rush, go easy, take good care of yourself, try to nourish yourself as best you can. Uh, rose quartz in the heart, hot water bottle on the heart. Um, be very gentle and easy with yourself. And um, if you are studying and researching, um, don't burn the candle at both ends as best you can. So, all right, Libra, I hope that you find that helpful. You're welcome to listen to your um, Sun, Moon, Rising readings as well for greater clarity, as well as your spiritual guidance reading that I've already done for the month of April. All right, I wish you much love. And I do have some meditation recordings up, and um, they're free to download on the podcast. Much love to you.